In this lesson, we'll focus on the main functions that managers have in a firm. They've been described as early as the beginning of the 20th century, when Henry Fayol, a French mining engineer and one of the first people to examine the general principles of business administration, formulated his theory about the five major management functions – planning, organizing, staffing, leading, and controlling. Planning consists of defining goals and figuring out a way to achieve them with the resources and capabilities the firm has. Managers consider the strategy of the firm and define the course of action to implement the strategy. Given that planning is both a short-term and a long-term process, this function is an ongoing effort. For example, Apple's long-term strategy could be related to diversifying its sales channels by expanding its retail network. Its short-term plan could consist of allocating additional resources to local branches to open new retail stores. That will be coherent with Apple's major goal and would likely even advance it. Right. Have you heard the quote, plan your work and work your plan? Well, once we have a plan, we have to put it into action. And to do that, we need organization, which is another major task managers have. This position involves getting people together and observing how they interact and work with each other to achieve a common goal. Organizing the workflow in a firm is a lot subtler than it seems at first. A successful manager considers the personalities of the people who will work together, their skills and previous background, with other available resources, like technology, money and equipment. The way all these variables are organized and put into use shapes the quality of the final output the company produces. Another critical long-term process that occurs in every firm is the recruitment and development of human resources. The people who join a company today are who will build its future tomorrow. Therefore, good managers should always look for the best talent available. In addition, it is important to train and develop personnel often. This not only enriches their skills, but makes them more able to contribute to the company in a meaningful way. To piece this together, a good manager excels in providing employees with honest feedback. If the people working for her understand she's interested in their own growth and the success of the company, she will likely be even more successful. The other main function managers have is to lead their teams. Leading a team does not directly translate into influencing others' behaviors, but this plays a role. Often, managers who are good leaders can inspire and motivate team members to attain the firm's goals. Being an effective leader consists of understanding employees' emotions, attitudes, values, and personalities, and building an environment that helps nurture their talent. Not an easy task. It is unnecessary to be as charismatic as Steve Jobs to be a successful leader of a team. In my experience, the most important trait of good leaders is to align individuals' personal development with the success of the entire company. They can build a culture of trust in which individuals work together without looking over their shoulder because they understand the real competition occurs outside the firm, not inside. Finally, think about accountability. It is one of the main drivers of performance. People can be held accountable for their results by defining key performance indicators and measuring their development. The fifth management function is known as controlling and comprises quantifying the results obtained by teams and individuals within the organization. In doing that, Managers have a valuable tool at their disposal, which allows them to rank performance, making it easier to encourage top performance and address underachievement. These are the five core functions managers must address in their job. Depending on where they are in the pyramid structure we described earlier, the distinct functions may have a different importance, but all managers must deal with these tasks to a certain degree.